Hey guys, I'm Jay Randall, and welcome back to my channel, where I discuss wisdom for the modern man. Today, guys, got another video to react to. This one is brought to us by the YouTube channel, Real Ralph Anthony. The title of the video, Rich and Successful Men Are Choosing Not to Get Married and Have Kids. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I meet a lot of successful men out here in Miami. Successful in many realms. Financially, they're in good shape. They've got a bit of social status. They've done something important in their lives. They might have been CEOs, they might be retired. But there's one thing that's destroying them. One thing that's destroying all of these men who have worked so hard their entire life to build this fortune, to have these beautiful apartments, to have the beautiful cars. There's one thing that's destroying them. And I wanna talk about this one thing. It's fascinating because I feel like they have so much in their lives in the sense of they have resources. The cars I see here, the apartments, the villas, hundreds of millions of dollars on beautiful real estate, beautiful cars, the dinners, the places they go out in. I am in the epitome of what you describe as the cream of the crop in terms of wealth. Okay, people come here with money, they come to Miami with money, they buy beautiful condos, they meet beautiful women. This is why I moved here two years ago because I wanted to be part of this kind of elite level of, of money and society, if you like. However, that comes with a downside. So let's talk about this one thing that's letting all of these men down. So I met a successful guy the other day, tall, handsome, runs a robotics company, right? A robo robotics, medical, surgical company. Guy's like six foot four, great beard, completely ripped, lives at the, lives at the one hotel in the residence section. So he's got great accommodation. And, you know, the guy's got everything. He's got money, he's got looks, but he doesn't want to settle down or get married. And I was like, how come? I mean, I knew why, but I wanted to ask. I was like, how come, bro? How come you don't want to settle down or get married? Like, what is it that's stopping you from doing so? He's like, oh man, it's just not for me, man. It doesn't make any sense. So I probed deeper and deeper to find out more. It's like, okay, what doesn't make sense? He was like, you know, financially, I don't know what I would do. It doesn't make sense financially. All my assets would be under, like, would be under pressure. And I was like, what about a prenup? Wouldn't you get a prenup? And he was like, yeah, but that doesn't mean shit these days. She'll still take all your shit. So this guy was scared of losing everything he'd ever worked for because he doesn't think it's worth this concept of, this old school concept of marriage. Let's admit it is a bit of an old school concept. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like women think men don't want to get married. It's not that. It's not that we don't want to get married. It's just that the risks and the more money you make as a guy, it's like the more successful you are as a guy, the more punishing marriage becomes. The more of like a, you know, all in, you know, high stakes gamble it becomes for you. And it's like, why as men should we have to gamble our entire lives on this thing called marriage. It shouldn't be a gamble. I mean, it's supposed to be till death do us part. So it shouldn't be a gamble, but it is. Because of divorce and because of the toll and the, the tax, you know, that it, it takes from men when it ends because women leave 70, 80% of the time. Yeah, it, it, it is literally something that men nowadays just can't afford to do no matter how much we're in love we might meet a great girl but man we slaved our lives away to become the men that we become we have to work for every penny we get it's not like women we could just put a cash app in our bio post some photos and have guys just or people just sending us money for nothing, simply existing. No, every penny we have, we worked, we did something, hard labor a lot of the times for, you know, strategized and built up a company, which is not easy. It's not easy, right? My family runs a business. I'll tell you firsthand, 
from building up a company from start to to finished, it is not easy. And they're supposed to put that all on the line for the sake of love, which is fleeting nowadays, especially with modern women. Like I said, they don't value it. They don't value commitment. Man, yeah, it's just something that nowadays men, we have to think like this. Rich, successful, has everything a a man could want, every materialistic thing. But we still want to get married, but we can't. We can't. Here we go. I'm talking about cars. I've literally got like... Check out this Lambo cruising through now. Just another day in Miami. It's normal to me here. So anyway, this guy doesn't want to risk all the shit that he's ever worked for to potentially go down the drain. He doesn't feel like it's worth him investing his time into one woman. That is the problem here. Most of these men feel like relationships are transient, which I would agree with, especially around here. Around here, it's about how much money you've got, how good you look. And if you lose all that shit, then everyone around you just doesn't become your friend anymore. You lose friends like this in Miami because it's a very transient, pretentious type place. Now, I'm not necessarily a transient or pretentious person. I can be, but ultimately... Yeah, that's very true. Very true. You got to be careful. I think the takeaway from all that is you need to be careful where you live and where you put down roots because, yeah, you can live in a place like Miami. I live in Florida. Um, I haven't uh, been... I have been in Miami, but not like to really experience it like that. But I, this year, I dated a girl who was from Miami and she was talk. Because I, I see like fresh and fit and the, the lifestyle from Miami, Miami's really blown up uh, over the years. And I wanted to ask her, like, what is it really like to live down there? Really pretty, really beautiful woman. So I know she going to have some experience down there. And she just tells me, yeah, it's like, everybody is so fake. Everybody puts on this facade, this demeanor. It's like they have to uphold this appearance. Everybody's chasing vanity and Nobody's real. It's just everybody's wearing a mask and it never comes down. And it's just like a city of fakeness, a city of chasing just this fake lifestyle. Nobody's real. Nobody shows who they really are. And I was just like, I can see that. I can see that from the people that I see on the Internet who are from Miami. It just looks fake. Right. And so can you imagine as a rich man down there trying to find a woman? It's already hard outside of Miami, just in the rest of America, right? It's as difficult as it is for just regular America. Can you imagine a that crazy place like Miami trying to find a whole one, a wholesome woman, one another, a woman that isn't after your money and materialistic things, and a woman that believes in the family and doesn't prioritize, you know, her happiness like we covered in the last video, but prioritizes loyalty commitment you're gonna find that in miami one of the most fakest places on earth yeah man you got to be careful where you put down roots like if you're going there for the lifestyle and to have fun and just to live it up cool but know what you're gonna get out of that like don't go to miami trying to find a wife don't go to la trying to find a wife i'm from california bro some of the fakest people the most it's, it's almost like miami if not in some ways worse, in some ways better, but they're pretty much comparable, bro. Like, you don't go to these places to find to try to find relationships. That's, no. The, the lifestyle is too fast. The, the women, the people are too fake. And they have ulterior motives nine times out of ten. Let's keep going. You know, I'm looking for a good life partner. I didn't say wife. Because I'm also scared of that shit, too. I have to get a prenup signed. There is no way... No way I get married without a prenup. I will tell you that. No matter how much love is involved, no matter how much I love someone, no matter how much I think someone is good, don't mean shit to me. The paperwork needs to be signed. If no prenup is signed, I don't get married. It's Thanks. as simple as that. I am not risking everything I have ever worked for since the dawn of time because somebody decided to change their mind they don't want to be with me anymore and they take half my shit. To me, that's the worst investment. I'm a, I'm an, I understand investments. I've been in investments 
since I left university at 21 years old working for UBS Investment Bank as a trader on the Alternative Investment Strategies desk in equity derivatives. Those are just a bunch of jargon words I just threw at you there. <laughs> but it would be the worst investment to ever make to get married and to risk half of my money? What? No way. Makes no fucking sense. Now, if you have children with that person, of course, I understand the children need to be protected. That's a different story. But the reason why I spent so much time in Eastern Europe is because men are more protected over there. Men are not protected over here in the West. We are fighting a losing battle. It there we go. That's the truth of it, man. Like other places outside of the West, the divorce, well, just the marriage laws in general, they make sense. They actually make sense. It's it's actually mind blowing to look at the marriage laws outside of the West, and it's just like, wow, there's places that you know would incentivize a man to get married. Like, there's actually normal, rational marriage laws. They exist. It's so mind blowing because this is all we know. All we know is immense amount of risk. We're fighting a losing battle. Everything is against us as men in this thing called relationships and marriage. Everything, the court systems are biased against us, all the laws, all the stipulations, even prenups nowadays can't be trusted because courts just throw them out in favor of women. Bro, it's like, see, look, I'm starting to think like as the divorce, uh, as the marriages plummet because people are getting married less and less, a lot of men for this reason, and as the birth rates get lower and lower, just like China and all these other countries have to, like, you know, come up with rules and policies to incentivize people, America's going to have to do the same very soon, right? We are re below replacement rate, and it's because of these issues that men are just opting out. And America's doing a pretty good job of ignoring it so far. Like, they're not talking about it. You don't hear it too much in the news or anything like that, or hear really any major politicians really discussing it, you know, that much. But Soon it's going to become very un an unavoidable topic. And they're going to have to start asking the question of how do we fix this problem? And they are going to have to contend with men's issues. They're going to have to actually listen to the men as to, hey, why aren't you, you know, doing what you used to do? Why aren't you getting married? Why aren't you having kids? And we were going to say, hey, we've been telling you for the longest time that this system is rigged against us. It's like you're doing everything in your power to make us fail. You're incentivizing the women to leave. You're giving them all these benefits. You're you're doing this child support payments that are way more than it takes to actually raise a kid. The woman's spending it on herself. There's no accountability on her end. And I'm just paying in every way, shape, or form. It's like they're going to have to seriously take these issues into account because the replacement, the birth rates are low, which means it's going to start affecting the military. And that is really when the government's going to take issue. When the country is in jeopardy because we don't have soldiers to protect, because people aren't producing enough kids. Well, why are they producing enough kids? Because men don't want to get married. Why don't men go on to get married? Because of stuff like this. That's where it's all going to, is it all, it's a domino effect, right? And that's when I think we're really going to start hearing policies and, and, you know, changes in the court system to stop, you know, screwing men over. Just recently in Florida, we had a, um, uh, you know, made a, a huge breakthrough for men where there was this, um, the law that gave women just alimony forever, just lifetime alimony. And that was finally put, put to an end. You know, that's one step forward. That was great. You know, we need to get stuff we need stuff like that, you know, stuff like mandatory paternity tests. Like, that needs to happen for every state, for every state. Like, it's it's a no-brainer. But it's stuff like this that really push men away from marriage. There needs to be benefits. Then Not only does there need to, like, be removed risk, like, a lot of this risk and liability needs to be removed, but we need to have, like, benefits as men. Women have benefits. Women have protections. Where are our protections and benefits? Man, it, it's just it's just a mess out here. We are just not protected. And he is right. It is a losing battle. Men like the guy I met who are tall, successful, handsome, 
are not looking to settle down because they just think it's too risky and it's not worth it, then we've got a serious problem in today's society. So that is the one thing that lets these men down over here, is that they'll probably not have children, they'll probably not have a life partner, they'll probably continue to play the field and sleep around. And ultimately, that form of hedonism is a trap and it's just a hamster cycle and a hamster wheel that you keep running around. You look at someone like Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg has stuck to one woman for a very long time. Now, she's not exactly a top model, but he probably loves her, they stay focused and they're strong together. And that's why men like Mark Zuckerberg continue to do great things because he's focused and he has the right woman by his side. And he has That's facts, bro. Like we talk a lot about the wrong woman and like who, which women to avoid, which women to stay away from the toxic ones. But bro, like there are some, like when you, when a man finds a good woman, a truly like woman that's actually going to follow his lead and support his vision, be a true helpmate in every sense of the word. I'm telling you, there's something absolutely beautiful. The guy can truly focus in on on his purpose. Man, I've seen it. I've seen that. That's the only, the only reason I still have faith in marriage is because I was blessed enough to see and still have my parents married and have this beautiful relationship. Right. I've been able to see a successful, loving relationship as a man. When you have a good one, when you have a good woman, you can accomplish so much. Life is truly fulfilling. Life is great. All right. And I know that I see that. And that is why I still pursue it. And that's why a lot of men, you know, pursue it, because we still have faith in that idea of a nuclear family. Despite all that is stacked against us in in winning in this scenario, we still have faith in it. And it, it sucks because that faith every day is dwindling. It's dwindling. And it sucks. And I've been thinking about it. He was just mentioning how men, these rich men at the top of their game, these rich men at the top of their game, and they, they want to get married, but they can't. And think about that. The best of us, the wealthy of us, the, the, the most smart the most uh, ambitious. Those are the people that should be getting married the, and, and having kids and they have enough wealth to have a, a bunch of kids and and actually, you know, invest into them. Those are the people, the main people that should be getting married, the people that actually can afford it and have the money to invest in their families and build a legacy and just l- let that, you know, accumulate their lineage and those are the ones, the men at the top, those are the ones who aren't. Isn't that crazy? That's absolutely crazy. We incentivize the best of us to avoid reproducing and having a family. That's wild. For the wrong reasons. Most men will choose a woman based on her looks. Oh, she's hot. Yeah, she's a baddie, man. She's a baddie. I hear that shit around here every so often. Oh, she's a baddie. She's a baddie. Bro, she's a, she's dumb as fuck. She might be a baddie, but she's dumb as fuck and she'll take you for everything you've ever got. And she's full of trauma and full of emotional baggage. So, you know, again, that is the other thing that men here fail to see. They fail to see through people and understand what they're actually like. They are more likely to have their lives destroyed because they cannot spot what a good quality woman actually looks like. So... That's the story with Miami and Miami Beach, especially. But as always, we must stay positive. And I never make this content is never meant to be negative. It's just meant to be. This is the state of the affairs on this side of the world here, especially in the West, especially in America. Protect yourself. Believe that you can find the right partner. Don't just keep playing the field your whole life. It might sound like fun. I'm personally bored of it and it takes away from my focus. I want to focus on business, on my purpose, on building communities, on building good quality relationships, not trying to bang as many girls as I can. Like, come on, how many more girls do I need to bang to prove to myself? Who am I trying to validate? It seems like these men are just trying to validate something in their eyes. Like they need, they need to constantly be validated for their looks or they just want sex. Pretty primal, isn't it? Yeah, but see, that is a realization most men can't fathom or really come to because so many guys are in a state of desperation 
And it's because they are in that state of desperation, they always see the men at the top who have a bunch of women. They see that as the goal. They see that as ideal. They see that as the lifestyle. That's just this fantasy. Man, I'll tell you, that it is not. And I know it sounds like, you know, well, that's easy for you to say, but I'm telling you, it is empty. It is empty. <laughs> it is very empty. And it's like, like he said, the women, they're, they're stupid, they're airheads, they're not worth marrying. And you're just messing around with these people, these girls. And it's like, there has to be more to this. Like, it gets to a point where you've proven to yourself. You've proven to yourself you can get girls. You've proven to yourself you can, you know, accomplish all these different scenarios. And it gets to a point where it's like, okay, now what? Another one? another one tonight like what's going to be difference between this one and the last one it's like she has the same personality i'm going to say i'm going to tell her the same few lines that i know is going to work and then boom 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 it's like just this cycle of just useless people coming in and out of your life getting nothing out of it but some kind of sexual gratification and it's like that's it nah man and i could even the rich men, they they go through this quick, you know. It might be fun for a while, of course. You know, every guy wants to experience that. But once you actually do it, you realize, yeah, this is not a way to live one's life. This is so unfulfilling. You want something wholesome. You want something real. You want something valuable. And that is family, which is why a lot of rich men are upset at the state in which the, the laws are because they're tired of banging useless, you know, chicks. They want something worthwhile to invest in, and that is a family. They want something, they want to build a legacy. All right? So, guys, I mean, I know a lot of guys right now, they can't really attain the multiple women thing. I mean, you can if you work on yourself, but that isn't something to strive towards. You strive towards being a guy who can get women, but not for the reasons for banging a bunch of chicks like that's not it that will lead you down a a, a black hole of just emptiness right there's more to life than that so don't fall into that trap but yeah it's a real shame that's the downside the downside is that you see most of these men probably will not settle down will not have children and the kind of men i'm talking about are men that should be having children to keep our civilization alive. Exactly. To keep our civilization strong. He's right. Like I said earlier, the best of us, the most, you know, intelligent, the most ambitious, the most hardworking, the most successful men, you know, are pushed to not have kids because of these very reasons. The best of us, the most accomplished, you know, and I mean best in terms of like, you know, what they've built, the people who can invest the most into their families they don't they don't that's crazy and it's like how are you going to have a thriving society when the higher up as a guy you go right the more accomplished you are the more you discourage me from wanting to start a family it's like the only thing you leave men to do is play the field because it's like they want to they want to start a family but then they think of man I could lose everything I literally slaved my entire life to a mess. I could lose it all. Just like that. Step into a courtroom and just boom, half my assets split down the middle. Even more because you have to pay for her stuff. There's child support. There's alimony. It's like it's ridiculous. So you literally have men at the top saying, I, can't, I just can't do it. I can't afford to take that risk. So I guess all that's left for me is just sleeping around with multiple chicks. You know, that that's all this society offers me. And I think that is, I don't encourage that, but I could see why they do it, right? And that's why I think, you know, going overseas is really a, a good option for a lot of wealthy men because you can live a, a upscale life. You can really live at the top. If you could live at the top over here in America, bro, you're like, <laughs> you're him in every other country, bro. So I think... Going overseas to where the marriage laws actually are fair is the next step for wealthy men because America just, it's not it, man. It really isn't it, and it's unfortunate.
But anyways, guys, that's the video. If you got value from it, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, take it easy.